Hi and welcome to Excel data entry form with a search system. Now let me show you guys how this works. Check out the reset button there and up here let's enter a data that we want to search. Let's say the name we want to search is Tony Montana and that's it right there. And the Tony Montana's reference is 3321. There we go. Those are the information of Tony Montana. And we can also reset all of the components in there and let's search for another candidate. Let's say that is for Grace. And click on that. There we go. And we can even delete some data. Let's delete Baller King. There we go. Baller King is gone out of the system. And we also have Grace Moore. There we have duplication of data there. There's one here as well. Get rid of the Grace Moore. And let's check out the other data of Grace Moore, which is 1884. Search there. We can exit if we want, or we can also enter new data in there. Let's say this is my new data, and the name of this is let's say it's called Richie. Richie Adi and address of Adi let's make that something else those are our richest details on board and let me show you guys the last record that's it right there that I need to run is the last record we have in here so if we want to add richest details all we need to do is to click on add and there uh, right underneath here we should be able to see the richest details so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys straight to excel development environment and we put one of these together hi and welcome to excel data entry form with a search system okay you guys see this data i just made that up so that's no big deal i believe you can make that up too so the first thing i would like to do is to go to file let me just save it and save as and save it right there in that folder and i will call it excel data entering search search function so i'm going to now select the save as type that's going to be excel macro enable so you must save it as excel macro enable click on save so it's now saved as excel macro enable the next thing is to make sure you have the developer if you don't have the developer go to the file again and just select options or there's another quick way out you see the quick the quick uh, tab there just click on that and select more command or more commands and in there you can always find the 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 command you're actually looking for so when you select the popular command from here select the popular command or you can always select commands not on ribbon okay the one we want to look for is called developer so scroll right down you should be able to find the developer menu up there and right here that is my developer menu I've already checked it so all you then need to do is just to click on okay button and there now once that is done click on the developer menu up there and then select visual basic or you can always select alt f11 that is it right there and that will open up and that should open up this development area now the next thing you want to do to add the form is click on insert add user form and I'm going to now define the size of my user form the height I'm going to make the height approximately 800 and right underneath here the width I'm going to make the width about 1024 
and that is all for that the next thing is I'm going to now add the following one right up there that is a frame another frame here and one more frame here okay I have all my frames in place but I intend to get rid of the the text on the on each frame so just get rid of them select it and go to the caption get rid of that too and here get, get rid of that the next thing is let's add label so the first very first frame up there so that is my label just click drag that would be for my title and I need some labels and text here labels text and combo box as a text box okay speed that up now and we then enhance that and we need yeah and we need some three combo box right below now three tags no get rid of that need two of these more one and two and I then need combo box right one two and three now we need some buttons okay I'm gonna need a button up there really let's place one up there that will be for my search that will trigger the search function and we now need a list box right there let's grab a list box on board here and bring it right down and up here I need a list box and a text box. Copy, drag. Okay. And here, let's change that function. That's uh, the text on that to something you guys should be able to read. And I'm just going to call it maybe Excel data entering form. Excel data entering form with a search function. Excel. data entering okay we call that excel data entering with a search system so that is fine let's go back in there so the next thing now is I'm going to name all of this button this very button is going to be known as search and this week just search as well Okay, so I will now speed up because what I intend, what I'm just doing is just naming all of these components and just to get them in order properly. But before then, let's change the back color of this very form so that you guys can see it. Back color um, right here for the form. Let's make sure it's a form. Yes, yeah, select the form and I'm going to change it to something green. Yeah. And these two forms, I'm going to change the color to something milky color, something white, just like that. Okay, and this very one will be changed to green as well. Right there. So all I'm just going to do now is the text on it, let's change that to something readable. Yeah, I will now just speed up the whole process and get back to you guys okay guys this is how it all looks like if I run it now and right there fellows this is how it looks like now there okay I'm gonna close it because there's nothing happening to any of these buttons now so let's close that the first thing I like to do is you see the the form I would now like to initial use the initialize and get some data on board here the data I'm talking about are the data right here 
okay i like them to be right there on the form and the form's name is lst display so let's double click on the form now i need to change the procedure to initialize that's the that's the procedure i intend to use so i'll say lst display dot column count equals 11 okay because i have 10 uh, i actually have nine columns but i've just made it 11 you can change that to 10 but i just want to use 11 okay always make it plus one so lsd display that column count equals 11 and i'm now going to say lsd display dot rule dot rule source right there okay i'm going to just allocate from a column a1 up to j and fifty six. okay those are my columns that I intend to use rules and columns if I click here now and run this you see all of this data this data here you should be able to see those data right there on my there we go on my list box but nothing is still happening yet just with those two commands there there we go look at it all right so let's go back in there now the other thing I like to do is you see this combo box since I'm working on the initialize area so let's double click on that on the initialize area the very first combo box I'm gonna call is CMB member type dot add and the item the very first item is I'm gonna give it a space then the other item that I intend to add let's make that four that would be for the type of member okay the first one here is going to be annual member followed by quarter or maybe quarterly member monthly member then i'm going to just say okay make that out. weekly member there now the other thing i want to add would be for let's say cmb proof of id dot add and the first one let's just say that is empty and the other proof of id would be as follows let's copy yeah let's say the first one is a pilot pilot license and driving license and let's just be the other speed up the other ids and right there guys those are the lines of code those are the lines of codes for the form so if I run it now this is what you see so all of the combo box now has content in them there okay let's take care of resets okay let's take care of the instead of reset I'm going to take care of the exit first and right up there on the exit the first thing I'm going to add Let's go rid of all of this on the exits let's say let's declare the following dim i exit as vb message message box result and we then at say message box result itself i exit equals message box and we enter the following message confirm if you want to exit and right there fellows those are the lines of code for exit now let's take care of delete double click on delete the first thing is to declare a variable there so i'm going to say d i as integer and using a for loop let's say for i equals zero to the to the range of my spreadsheet there which is uh, let's say a 65,356 close that and say dot end 
open a bracket x dot row let's say minus one and we then use if an if statement if label lst display okay if lxc display does select item okay and get rid of the item that is it done now let's take care of the next one which is reset double click on reset and for my reset i'm just going to enter as follows those are the lines of code for reset that will clear all of the text all of my text box now but the most important thing is make sure you are selecting or you have the right uh, the right frame here I have let's make sure it's frame 2 anyway that's frame 2 that's what I'm calling frame 2 if all of my text box is inside frame 1 or frame 3 I would have changed that right here I would have changed let's go back in and click on reset this would have been changed to frame 3 but because I'm using frame 2, all of my data on frame 2, I change that to frame 2. If I, if you don't have any frame at all, then that will just be the form alone. Okay, you can always use me dot control and do that. Okay, now let's take care of the next one. The next one is going to be the print. Double click on print. And right there, those are the lines of code for the print application dot dialog and call the print function and there we go and that we should bring out the print dialog box then you can then select the type of printer you intend to use let me demonstrate that for you guys so if i come in here now click on print there so i'm going to select this that's where the printer is but unfortunately it's not attached to my system so just click on select any of the printer you want to use and you should be able to print it out and there so we can always delete like you guys saw earlier so if i click on this now look at it uh, let's go for peter pan delete peter pan there we go peter pan is gone okay and uh, we can reset as you guys have seen you've seen the lines of codes for that okay this one we won't be able to reset those because i haven't included them so if we click on reset there this one we have not done that but we might as well just take care of that now double click on that then the reset for those ones just copy all of these copy that paste that right underneath reset here one as the first one and copy this that will be the second one and the third one because i have three combo box on board and paste it right underneath reset there we go oh that should have been the text ah, let's copy all of this let's paste that here okay try it one more time let's try it with two items and there we go the reset is now working so print is working all of these are working now let's take care of this so let's go back in here come right down here double click on add new item for the new item i will declare the following variables first so then let's say worksheet wsk and wks as worksheet and let's declare another one dim I'm going to call that add new as the range of my data. So let's say set set worksheet equals sheet one because my data is on sheet one. If it's on sheet two, you change that to two. And I'm going to now set new equals worksheet dot range and the range is from A to 65,000 plus let's put that in a quote that's A 65,356 dot end of data now close that 
dot end okay bracket x l up dot offset and that's going to be one comma zero close the bracket now let's add each of the components and the components i'm going to be adding is as follows the very first one is add offset the, uh, in the case of the offset is just to make sure it goes to the next row the first one start from zero zero dot value equals the very name of that text box is txt reference dot text that's, a, that's my very first one I'm just going to copy this and change it around for the others copy and so on okay in total I have nine data there so the next one is going to be the first name change that to first name and this will become one okay the next one is two and that will be surname and the next one is three and the value in there that is going to be the address and so on so let's speed that up too yeah that is it all done so which means if i run the system i can always enter whatever data that i've entered straight onto my spreadsheet here so let's try that out so the very first reference i'm going to use let's say is 787q yeah so that is totally different from the rest and the name of this guy is, let's say his name is danny do run number three three wrote code nine tt telephone number of mr duran and let's say today's date i think it's twice 23 plus all right Duran is a pilot annual member and for annual member that's the course so let's see if we can add Danny Duran right there let's see now there we go look at Danny Duran right there okay that's working finally let's take care of this all right exit yes and let's double click on the so double click on the search button the first thing is i'm going to declare the following variable and define the range of my search right there then the next thing is i'm going to use an uh, use a for loop so for i equals one to search that is my variable there and we then use a trim to using an if statement to search for the exact data that we wanted to search for then the next thing is if that data is on the system it will then assign it to all of these text box there okay that is just how the search functions work okay. search for the data if it's there do this do as follows there we go my previous tutorial I actually mistakenly enter 10 there which means this it can only start session from 10 that is an error for me which I've already corrected and I enter or add that to the description area let's run it now if I want to search for let's search for the last candidate Danny Duran 7 787Q search there we go information of mr duran let's go for paul parker paul parker's details is four 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 one two three four search for parker there and that is how you create your own excel data entry form with a search system so that guys i'm gonna call you the end of this tutorial but before then let me show you the most important part of all the search itself there we let's double click on the search have a good look at the lines of course from here bring it down 
I also have another tutorial on search system but there's an error there the error is just this that says 10 instead of 1 okay so let's run it again and search the database so let's search for dynamic me dynamic enter let's say the search function is the reference number is 36 58 1 you can also use any of these columns so let's search for that there guys so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day and please do subscribe be a member of my channel and also if you like you can always buy the merchandise you have a nice one now bye for now